Hi third graders, this is Mrs. Oyster and today I'm going to quickly review with you how to decide which operation you will use to solve a story problem. So we're going to talk about all types of story problems, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. So let's start with addition and subtraction. The addition and subtraction story types, here I'm going to move my picture down a little bit, are get more, put together, take away, and compare. Now, all those stories can be solved with addition or with subtraction, depending on what it is you're trying to find out, depending on what the unknown is. So it's really important when you read a story problem to figure out, what do I know? What am I trying to find out? If you are finding the whole, if you are trying to find the whole, you will add, no matter what type of story it is. If you are trying to find a part, you will subtract. Okay. If you're trying to find a whole, you will add. If you're trying to find one of the parts, you will subtract when you have one of these types of story problems. So how can you know if it's an addition or subtraction story? Well, here's some keywords that might help you. Now, I want you to know that these words don't always, always mean a certain thing, but they are they're, um, words that can help you kind of head in the right direction. Okay, so if it's an addition story, you will often see the word sum. Now, this is an, ex an exception to what I just said. If it says find the sum, it does mean add, always. Okay, sum always means add. But you might also see some of these words like add or added to, all together, how many all together, how many total, how many in all. If you see the word plus, plus is another word for add. Or if something increased by a certain amount, that's also an addition word. Now, how about subtraction? If it says find the difference, it always means subtract. So that one is, there are no exceptions for that. If it gives you two numbers and says find the difference, it means subtract. But some other words that might um, lead you in the subtraction direction, if it says decreased by, that means the number is getting smaller. If it says how many are left, how many remain, how many are left over, um, that's subtraction take away how much change especially if it's a money problem and it says you pay this much it costs this much how much change will you get change is kind of another word for difference and so it's acting you to subtract minus and subtract obviously those words mean subtract okay but what about multiplication and division the types of multiplication and division story problems are area array equal groups and then repeated addition slash subtraction. That's the one that um, if it's going one way, it's repeated addition. If it's going the other way, it's repeated subtraction. So again, all of these can be multiplication or division depending on what you're trying to find out. So again, it's extremely important that you read the story correctly and carefully and determine what do you know and what are you trying to find out. If you are trying to find the whole and it's one of these types of stories, you're going to multiply. If you are trying to find one of the factors or one of the parts, you will divide. So for example, if it's an array story, that's an easy one to give an example for. If you have an array, it means you have equal rows, correct? So if it's giving you the number of rows and the number in each row, and it says how many in all or how many all together, you're gonna multiply. But if it tells you the total and it says there's six rows, how many in each row, that's where you're trying to figure out one of the parts. And so for that particular story, you would divide. Okay, so what words might prompt you to think that it's multiplication or division? Well, product, product always means multiply. If it says find the product, you have to multiply. Some other words that are hints that this is a multiplication story are words or phrases like times by or times as many. There are three times as many. Total each, in all, or all together. Those words can all signal that you are supposed to multiply. What about divide? Well, when you're dividing, you are finding the quotient. So if it says find the quotient, that is a division story. Um, some other words, divide by, how many parts? Again, each or per. I taught you this in class, if you were in my class. When you see that word each, it almost always is gonna tell you it's either multiply or divide. Okay, depending on what you're trying to figure out. Per is used a lot in division stories or even in multiplication stories. Equal groups, 
shared equally or split equally. These phrases will tell you that you are dividing. So these words might help you decide whether you're going to multiply or divide. Now, if you add or multiply either one of those, the answer will be greater. So if you add two numbers, your answer is going to be a bigger number. If you multiply two numbers, your answer is going to be a bigger number. However, if you subtract or divide, the answer will be smaller. So if you subtract two numbers, your answer is going to be a smaller number. If you divide two numbers, your answer is going to be a smaller number than whatever the first number was. Okay. All right. In the next short video, I'm going to go over your worksheet with you. So if you want to grab out your packet and it's on page 18, we will go over a couple of those together. Thanks.